Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next episode of the Arkham Gauntlet. We are on episode 11, I think. Holy heck. Yeah, it makes sense. Episode 11. Uh, we're on Echoes of the Past, everyone's favorite Carcosa scenario. Uh, the truth is hidden. Surprisingly, the front doors of the historical society's Georgian Manor are cracked halfway open when you arrive. Who else could be here at this hour? I'll tell you who. Cultists. Skip the place one doom on the current agenda step of the mythos phase. Forced after one or more clues are placed on an enemy in play, flip those clues to their doom side. Four doom advances. And each of the historical society's many rooms contain records and documents that may aid you in your search for your answers about the king in yellow. There must be something here that can guide you toward the truth. We need four clues to advance. We do get two starting clues on this location because we had, we interviewed Sebastian. See? See? All right, everyone knows we need a nice good mulligan, so let's get that. Ooh, a bad start. <laughs> I mean, like, this is more so on Nathaniel's side. We really want to see, like, a boxing gloves. This is a slow version of the boxing gloves, but we're going to take it. Sorry, how does that on the hunt work? It's engaged with you? I think that's actually probably a good deal. That's not a great start over here. This is not a good start on Nathaniel's side. We can draw you later. All right, Nathaniel's gonna go one. Nathaniel's gonna go two. And Nathaniel's gonna play Randall Cho. Give me some boxing gloves. I mean, I think we can come out from this, and I, I actually think we're going to do things a little bit strange, potentially. Uh, and then we're going to play the boxing glove. Oh, no, I just go... Oh, I play it, paying its cost. Oh, that's action compression, baby! That's awesome. Okay, let's rock. Okay. All right, and then Harvey is going to go one, two... And, uh, this is really bad in this scenario. So I'm going to do what everyone wants me to do and play the book. <laughs> All right, upkeep. All right, we're at one. Oh, no, no. Muscle memory. That's muscle memory. Okay. You must see the place one includes on a place one doom on the current agenda. Well, that's what has to happen. For each call to play, move one clue in the enemy's location uh, until the end of the round. Each call to main play gets plus one fight for each clue and or doom on it. Until the end of the round, gets plus one fight. So what is this thing at? It's going to be at four. Okay. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to move in here. We're going to engage this guy. And then we're going to punch him with this clean them out. So we are at seven to four. Nice. That'll be two damage. All right, we're going to move in here. This one is this this card is actually also notably bad in this scenario. We're going to move in here. I'm going to draw a card. Yeah, I mean, I'll take the money. That's why it's here, which allows me to draw another card.
Uh, and then I think I'm going to drop down the art student and just grab a clue here. All right, upkeep. Another perfect draw. <laughs> this guy's going to deal us a horror. We'll put it on Randall. And then we're going to go... No, we're just here. Evil card. Oh, that sucks. I should have done the thing and just killed it. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Wow, that's brutal. That's brutal. That's that's just unlucky. I should have killed it. I could have killed it if... if so if Harvey engaged it, I could have used the Heroic Rescue to kill it. But, like, that's just story, right? We basically have one... We have one. We have one oops, and now we can keep going. But we can just keep our head above water, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's attack this guy. We have seven to two. He's dead. And where do these guys spawn? Any empty historical society location. Alright, well, we're going to look at the top nine for a spirit card. And we're looking specifically for get over here's. Because those cards are very good in this scenario. Uh, and then Har uh, then uh, <laughs> Nathaniel Cho is going to do every what every Guardian does in this scenario. Move onto this location. And then we're going to play something that soaks for us, I suppose. Do we need that? I think we just gain a resource. Okay. Uh, we're going to investigate at 5 to 3. Yep, yeah, we're going to grab a clue. And then I think we just kill this. Alright. Upkeep. Bing! Sure. Whew. Any empty location. Like here. How did Kernicol and Last King go? Kernicol went very well. Last King didn't go bad. Reveal location with the most clues. Hey, that's our location. It definitely didn't go bad. Uh, I could have gone better, but I'm not complaining. Alright, we're going to punch this guy. 7-3. to three. We're just going the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Let's go! Seven. To three. He's dead. I think the Al Acolytes usually have actually have had Doom spawn on them for a very long time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just, uh, that's just, like, how it's been. Okay. And Honestly, I think we just like just focus on action compression right now. Like we'll just like do this now cuz then we can kill it next turn and everything's glorious. Harvey's going to go 1 2 And then we're going to investigate. You know what? This is a force trial location. I think we're just going to get out of it. <laughs> Alright, this guy's going to punch us and then we're going to go upkeep. Uh, we take one damage, which is totally okay. Oh no, because we have Dreaming Sand. We'll take two damage. I was like, something's not right here. We lose the sledge. Let me get some cards. You cannot play events. I would like to get rid of this card, please. In Surge. Oh, hello. Your victory. Your victory. All right. Um, we're going to one, two punch you because you're victory. We have seven, eight, eight to four. Nice. Two damage. And then we're going to go 9 to 4. Get him out of here. 
You know, I wish Nathaniel Cho had more pieces, but he is very fun to play. It's just, it's really fun to, like, punch a dude <laughs> and, like, kill him, you know? I'll take that other get over here, I think. Oh, and I think I also got rid of this, right? Nope. I don't. <laughs> we'll get rid of that eventually. We're just going to punch this guy 7 to 3. Get him out of here. I have one action left. I think now I can play this. All right, Harvey. He's going to move in here. And we're going to come in here. How am I the only... How is this the first time in my life I've seen that these locations are connected? I've played this campaign, like, probably 18 times. At least. Only if you have Peabody. Okay, okay. It's the passageway trade. It's just linking it. But don't these... Aren't they actually just connected? Yeah, the location symbols are actually connected. Wild. You learn something new every fucking day. <laughs> wow. Sorry, so we moved here, we moved here. We have one action left, right? Yeah, I'll just investigate a five to three. That's a clue. All right, upkeep. Great draw. Good draw. Nothing there. Okay, we've stabilized a bit. It's going to gain surge. They lock the door into the room I never want to go into. Is this worth an on the hunt? I think it is. So we're going to the top nine. Oh. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> Come to me. Astral Beast. These dynamic lines are going to be a game changer. Yeah, no, it is. It is. It, uh, the, the, the things that I love most that the people who make this mod do is whenever they come up with something that basically just takes your mind out of thinking about the logistics of the game. And this automatic location connector is a dream. It's an absolute dream. And we also learn new things. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're actually going to start by just punching this guy regularly, regularly at 7 to 2. Kirko Secret Kirkosa just sneaking through the halls and just sees the silhouette of Nathaniel and his boxing gloves. Yeah, look the fuck out. <laughs> okay. So then what we actually want to do is we're going to do this Monster Slayer for the next attack. 7 to 2. That's a shame. I guess we'll just clean out clean out his pockets then. Yeah, he's dead. I was trying to get rid of this, but the game said, no, you can actually stay with that for a bit. Thank you, Holland. He used software to scan location images and detect the connection symbols. Wild. That's cool. And here I am just happy I turned on my computer today. <laughs> oh, let's go like this. Now, that is super sick. All right, Harvey, you got to get some clues, so why don't you do that? We're going to investigate at 5 to 3. First, we're actually going to drop you. 
We'll draw three cards. Nice, okay. And then I think we're actually going to drop you. And then we're going to investigate at six to three, because that's just the math. I checked it was higher. I think in the patch notes it said all official campaigns support the auto connectors. I'll keep. Nope. Stop drawing these cards. I would love to do this, but now we're just too efficient. Sure, here. This guy's gonna suck that clue off. All right. So what's this do? For four cards in our hand. So you need 12 cards for it to like really pop off. All right, well, let's advance. This matter is too ghastly for the public eye. I am placing the remainder of this record in the hidden library. All further inquiries should be done away from prying eyes, for this is a dangerous matter and no, not one to be researched lightly. Uh, free to reveal historical society location, add player clues to it. Up to its clue maximum, of course. All right, somewhere in the manor is a hidden library where you might be able to find more information about the king in yellow. You must first find a way in if you're able to, if you're to continue your investigation. All right, so I think we burn this because I would like to start playing events. And then I'm just going to investigate at six to three. Minus one, perfect. All right, Nathaniel Cho, I think, is going to play this get over here. Choose a non-elite enemy at your location or a connecting location. Hello! Move that enemy to your location, engage it, and attack it. All right, so we're at 7 to 2. Let's go, 2 damage. We're going to go again, 7 to 2. He's dead. Let's look at the top 9. Mono a mono. I think is less good in this scenario. I think counterpunch is good, so we're gonna grab a counterpunch. All right, upkeep. Oh no, I have one action left. I will gain a resource. Upkeep. That's a good draw. That's what we're looking for. No, that's not how it works. Stop it. Just stop. There's cults that I mean play with Doom on and move all Doom from each cult assignment from the agenda. I'm getting like, I'm getting unlucky one, two combos for this, which is a little bit unfortunate, but at least it's keeping it a little bit tense, right? We're not like falling behind, but it's like, it's scary. Okay. So I'm pretty sure we actually want to start with another laboratory assistant. Let me draw three cards. Then we have 12 cards in hand, so we actually can just discover a clue. Which seems kind of cool. And then I think we can just play this for free! 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> if 
Play for minus one gain of resource? Obviously. All right, and then we can advance. And uh, we can add player clues to this, to its, up to its clue value. Choose an investigator to take control of the set aside Mr. Peabody. Not you, you're not Mr. Peabody. All right, you're gonna go. And then we put the set aside hidden library into play. It does. <laughs> I, I've, I'm in some sort of Berenstein Bears situation because this card has changed. <laughs> That's actually hot tech. That's hot tech for sure. Yeah, today's a learn. Today's a learning day. I'm so scared for this scenario. Okay, Nathaniel Cho has to go. He's going to move up here. We're going to punch this guy. But we're going to do it with... Uh, this. <laughs> hey, this is excessive. But it just became excessive. Oh, a lot of good choices to make here. I think I'm going to take the get over here. Surf the top nine. Yeah, give me this. And then honestly, I'm just going to use it. No, we can't. We can't do that one because it's not, you know, you go back in there. Then. I'll just take it. Because you need to actually choose another investigator. You can't just play it as a, as a baddie cash. That's right. All right. Um, I have one action left. I suppose I'm going to just like move over here. We can go upkeep. The handcuff's nice. Search. That's okay, I made that same mistake. That's the only reason I know it, because people yelled at me. You're scary. But I kind of like the idea of you actually getting a doom on you, because we might be able to make that work to our advantage. Cool. This guy's just a bit big. This guy needs to die. Trying to game the scenario for the full 5 XP? No. I only want to win. I don't care about how much XP I get. My decks are already, like, killing it. All right, we're going to give this the passageway trait, and then we're going to do this! Move in here and get a clue! Because apparently that's something that I can just do now. And I'll investigate 8 to 4. Nice. All right, Nacho is going to move in here. Nacho is going to come in here. Do I have an easy event to fight with? You know what? Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. Our second action, we're going to play these handcuffs. And then we're going to play this get over here. Bring him to me. Some of the tome seems decent. Yeah, the move really helps, admittedly. But I mean, like, it's very fragile. Like, as soon as I draw my, um, 
Like if I draw my uh, obsessive in the top card, card's like pretty much dead. You need to be able to use it every turn for it to be good, I think. All right. Um, yeah, so we're going to punch this guy at 7 to 4. I'm going to go 8 to 4, just to make sure he dies. See? He's dead. Give me a spirit, please. I'll take the toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Okay, upkeep. Good draws. Put this motherfucker right there. Put this motherfucker right there. <laughs> okay. Something to do. Something for our good friend Nathaniel Cho to do. And then Harvey, you're just getting clues. I think we just try to... I think we just try to draw some stuff out here. So we're going to draw four cards. Mm. I was hoping for an extensive research. But I am going to throw... Wait a minute. No, this is instead of discovering tomb, uh, uh, clues. Yeah, so we're just going to go 8 to the game's 4 for our last action. Sure, that's fine. Nathaniel Cho is going to move in here. Punch this guy 7 to 3. Oh, it never feels bad for that to happen. It's like always a freaking glorious time. Um, and then I'm gonna move in here for my last action. This guy's gonna we're gonna counter punch him. We have um nine to four. Yeah, he's dead. It is very similar to um, Silas's. It's very true. All right, upkeep. Okay. Did I lose one of my extensive researches already? No, it's still in there. There's the one I paid for. All right, I have to discard three cards. You. You. And you. Not you. All right, what do we got? That's on my location? Actually, we don't want to draw that one then. So let's just grab an Acolyte. Spawn that motherfucker here. Ooh, game's working. Game's working. It's trying. All right, but I think we just try to finish this, right? We just try to get out of here. We grab a clue with this. We investigate at eight to four. And, oh no, I want to play this. Yeah, we have to survive one more turn, but I think it's going to be okay. We're going to get this uh, Raven Quill out. Because that's just free experience if I do that. Alright, Nathaniel Cho is going to move in here. I'm going to punch this guy at 7 to 3. Oh, I had to discard a hand card, didn't I? Probably would have been that. This guy's dead. I'm going to choose not to search because we're going to have to discard it anyway. Uh, for my last action, I think I'm just going to, like, gain a resource. I'll keep. I'll keep. All 
evil card. Hey, it's this guy. We'll put him there. Whoa, calm down. I'm about to discard a card again. Yeah, I'll take two damage. Um, and then I'm pretty sure we just draw a card. And then we get the clue. We've done it. All right, as you study the hidden library, you find a few pieces. Uh, Onyx Clasp? Do we want the Onyx Clasp? Now we're gonna go resolution two. We left it behind. And uh, we're gonna mark a doubt in our campaign log. And we're gonna, oh, what a squid, that sucks. <laughs> That's a bit bad, one. Two, one, two. We'll get victory X. Which I'm pretty sure is just two. No, it's three! Look, chat, that one's also connected. Yeah, squid's very rough in the asylum. That's why I'm not too happy about that. Look, T-I-L. T-I-L. Anyway, so that leaves us with three experience, but Harvey's going to get four. Because he has the Raven Quill, which we must put one of that into the Raven Quill. Alright. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed that episode as we continue through the Arkham Gauntlet. In the meantime, have a good one. I love you. And as always, a oh, GG's.